awesome it came so this was the roller that you guys saw in the um, on the thumbnail to the self massage video sweet uh, wow they put these major clips on here but I think we can make it work So, first let's talk about quality. Um, not bad. It's metal, which is what I was hoping. Uh, pretty comfortable handle, kind of an ergonomic. These plastic loops need to be cut off with scissors, uh, so that's kind of annoying. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it rolls real well. Like if I spin it, it barely keeps spinning but it rolls smooth so let's see what we can do since this is a video for the knee replacement group we're gonna talk about knees right so I just came back from a run actually I know I look I, like I just woke up but <clears throat> so let's talk about that numbness you get that kind of weird uncomfortable sensation you get on the inside of the knee um, if you remember from previous videos there is an internal incision you have your superficial incision that runs up the middle usually then you have your internal incision that runs around the inside within the joint capsule so something like this oh it feels good on the skin it's so cold um, but what you could do you could apply that what we would call distal to proximal pressure. I'm going from low to high, bringing fluid back in toward the system. If I wanted a little more pressure, I could use a two-handed grip for sure. I can allow that leg to drop out to the side. Um, I can go with kind of a cross fiber. Uh, remember that tourniquet goes high on the thigh, a lot of bruising, kind of tissue damage happens up here. So even just something like this, working through that sensitivity, desensitizing some of that tissue. Once I've worked through the upper quad, it feels really good. I mean, it's smooth, good quality. For under $14, pretty impressive. It's not heavy, but it's got a little bit of weight to it. Uh, definitely it could be placed in the freezer if you wanted a little bit of extra coldness to it. And then I would come under and I would work. Oh, that calf muscle feels incredible. So I'm using kind of this double handed grip. I'm pressing into it, working through the posterior and the medial uh, calf muscle. That's usually where I get the tightest. Uh, about a, two weeks ago, I pulled my calf muscle just a little bit. So this feels really, really good. It's a good hurt, a good soreness. You can work that outside shin. Uh, so here's the shin bone. I'm working the musculature on the outside of it. So it's not anything bony. There's no benefit to rolling over anything bony. But these muscles out here are generally responsible for pulling the toe up when you're walking. If there's a lot of swelling in that lower leg, these muscles tend to get compressed and inhibited. They don't function quite right. So sometimes getting some of that fluid out of there is gonna help. And then of course, we talked about IT band issues, not uncommon after a knee replacement. So the IT band goes from this bump on the bottom below my knee, the front of my tibia, kind of comes up and around all the way up into the thigh and actually branches out into the connections in the posterior and the anterior part of your outside hip. So if I wanna work my IT band, I can kind of come in here. I can soften it up just a little bit, work my way up. I can go kind of diagonal across the fibers, parallel with the fibers. Perpendicular to me just feels lumpy. It never really kind of feels like I'm getting anything. Um, you can see that kind of hamstring tendon right in there so I can work through. Very rarely does somebody have any issues with the hamstring. But if you're working on your range of motion, you feel like maybe that hamstring can kind of loosen things up, 
you can work the lateral hamstring, you can come on the inside, work the medial hamstring. Then probably, I'm gonna see if I can arrange the camera the right way, but probably one of the most important areas that nobody ever talks about or thinks about is the outside hip. Kind of this area, I'm gonna see. This area right here, kind of, if, if I had a back pocket, that's where my wallet would be. This area right in here gets really tender, uncomfortable. I'm gonna be off camera for just a second, but basically what you would do is you would take that, here's my, like the outside of my femur, it's called a greater trochanter. I'm back posterior to that, kind of there's where my wallet would go, and I'm working through all these tissues right in here, top of my pelvis is here, greater troch is here, so I'm working through gluteus minimus, gluteus medius, gluteus maximus all the way through here. Piriformis is deep in there where sometimes you may experience some sciatic nerve symptoms. So all in all, um, on the website, the, the main website, I can't remember the name of the company. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that, G-A-I-A-M. On the website, the product's 25 bucks. No way in the world I'd pay 25 bucks. On Amazon right now, it's under $14. It was like $13 and change. Definitely worth $13 and change. This is something we'll keep at the clinic. We'll use it more frequently. Um, you know, so like on the back, you'll see pictures of a person. You can absolutely work through like these muscles, top of the shoulder, base of the neck, upper trap, levator scap. You can't really get much leverage on it, so that's why it's not necessarily the ideal device to work into these areas, but it's comfortable. It glides really well. If I was dealing with some shoulder issues, I'd work through like pectoralis major, a little bit of pec minor underneath there. I'd work bicep, I'd come in, I'd work that lateral forearm, um, you know, things like carpal tunnel, tennis elbow, biceps tendonitis, rotator cuff, like there's so many things you can work on to reduce symptoms, improve tissue, um, fluid exchange, and tissue mobility. So I endorse it. <laughs> I'm glad I bought it. I would buy another one. If you guys have any specific questions about it, I'm gonna try and throw it in the freezer and see what it feels like when it's really cold. But other than that, I think it's a great product, especially at that $14 or less price point. Guys, thanks for watching. If you have any other product recommendations, let me know. In the meantime, I'll catch you back in the Total Knee Replacement Support Group. Talk to you later.